Welcome back everyone, this is CNS Farms. So, we just picked up some equipment here. Not really anything that we really need, but I've seen this old school Chevy uh, square body pickup truck here. It's an 86 I believe, so I scooped that up. It was at an auction that I went to, and then I also picked up these two 2020 um, John Deere side-by-sides. I'm going to use one for my personal house, so we got to take that over there and drop it off as long with the truck. Then we're going to use one for scouting out like trees and stuff going around and marking what all trees we need to cut down and stuff like that. So I thought that would be a little helpful. So let's go run this back down to our shop and then we'll swing by our house or my house I should say or our house. It could be our house. We could all live there I guess. But we'll have to go down there and drop off my personal side-by-side -side and my truck I bought. And then we need to head out to this auction. They're auctioning off the whole sawmill, all the equipment, everything. So we might be able to get a pretty good deal on all of it. I'm hoping. But first, before we head down there, I think the auction starts at like 11 or 12. So we have a little bit of time to burn. So... Let's go ahead and swing in here and get this side by side unloaded and it literally just fit like just barely fit that should be good right there let's go ahead and I did not mean to do that but like look at this this thing barely fit on here because the feet are not the feet the ramps go up to like this little black line that goes across so it like just fit but go ahead and get this guy unstrapped and we'll throw this guy in check out can you check out my outfit so I got my got my head my head on I got my um my helmet on with my steel gloves got a beard I try to look like a lumberjack as much as possible for this but yeah we'll just go ahead and let's see where should we park this we'll just park this guy back here Let's put this guy back out of the way. There, that should work right there. Let's go ahead and shut that guy off. Does it have a hitch on the back? It does have a hitch on the back. That might be... That might be useful. Turn them lights on, because it might be a little late once we get back. Alright, let's go ahead and throw the ramp back up. We go and head down to my house now. All right, so apparently they have two semi trucks, a log trailer, a flatbed trailer. I think they said two skid steers, one with the pallet forks on it for the sawmill, and one with a stump grinder. And then I also think that there's a wheel loader with two attachments for, um, for log pickup and stuff. Log gr grapples, not grapples. Um like claws for to pick up logs so we'll see if that stuff is all there but hopefully we can fit through here because this is like downtown we gotta make this turn here I'm hoping we can hopefully we can make it Let's see how are we looking oh yeah that's not bad at all and our house is right up here so I'll probably have to block off most of the road. Um, let's see. Actually, we could just pull over right here and get this stuff unloaded. All right, let's get this unstrapped. Go. So, like, as you see, we had to pull this thing up to like the bumper to make it all fit. So they still haven't came and fixed up our landscaping yet. We gotta be careful with this thing. This thing is an old antique. I'm sure no cars are coming. Let's go ahead and Oh man, this thing has a big block engine in it. This thing really gets up and go. I'm pretty sure they said it was a four fifty four Chevy big blocks. I think I wanna slam it to the ground and you know. the interior is really nice though. They redid the interior everything but yeah this thing is pretty old but it's nice no dings dents they restored it 
I'm not really sure if I like the paint color. Maybe we'll have to get it painted, but I don't know. The interior looks nice. I might, I don't know if I really like the interior color, but it's the only one on the market that I've seen. Like, even the bed, no scratches, nothing. This thing was just restored. All right, well, it's actually not until 3 o'clock, so we still have two minutes to get there, which I would have liked to get there a little bit earlier, but I ran in the house and was doing some stuff, so... You know, it is what it is. If we're a little bit late, hopefully it won't start right on it, right at uh, 3 o'clock. But we do need to try to hurry up and get there as quickly as possible. I'm pretty sure if we just take this road and then make a left, we'll be right there. So we should make it before 3 o'clock. I'm hoping. We only got one minute to spare. I think it's right up here on the right. It should be right here on the right. Oh my, yeah, this is sawmill. Let's go ahead and turn in here. Um, oh, it looks like it's down here. Geesh, let's just park right here. Hopefully, that'll be okay. So, yeah, here's the equipment that they have for auction. They're auctioning off this building here. This is the sawmill. So, they're going to be auctioning off that. Like, pretty much this, all this land back here. I don't, don't know about the house. Maybe that's a rental property that we'll be able to pick up. Or anything up there we'll have to see more about all that but here is the one Mack truck I forget what this is I forget what they said um the pinnacle and then here is the logging trailer it's a flegal trailer this thing is nice it even has this guy back here I don't know what that is but they have it on this and they have this guy oh, oh my this would really make our logging company legit right here. It comes with the trailer and everything. Jeez. Then they have the same. This is one of the log forks. And then they have another Mack truck just like we have. And then, wow, all this equipment looks almost brand new too. They, they washed this up and waxed it pretty good. Got this New Holland. Two New Holland 332s. Oh, C332s. With the super boom on them this one is for pallets around the sawmill because you know they move around um, planks and stuff with that and then this one has the stump grinder on it which let's check these teeth out the teeth look this thing looks like it was just maintenance and everything like they really took care of this equipment then we have this big new holland w190d with the long reach on it but I'm gonna go and figure out what's happening around this auction and then I'll bring you guys back in here I, well, I wasn't able to vlog during the auction because the auctioneers but as you can see we got everything we I bought everything I bought the building I bought all of the equipment so we own all of this equipment now we own absolutely everything you see here the house actually doesn't come with it so our property line is like it's kind of weird we own from this little um, the wood chip pit here over. We own this building and that garage over there comes with it. But the doors are locked so they're going to have to get us a key for it. I don't know when that will be. And then we own over here to this tree line. We own to the tree line here. So we don't own anything down here. But we own from this tree line back pretty much down to the road from here we need to get this loaded up I'm hoping we can fit this all in one truck load let's see let's back up here a little bit be nice we can look right out the back window here so I'm not sure if we'll be able to fit all this I know we can that'll be fine to drive and it has the fork on there that'll be fine and this will be fine but I'd really hate to make an extra trip just for like one skid steer so I'm hoping we can get all this loaded up on one load I'm trying to think if we take off the front here I wonder if we could detach the front and put it do you think there'd be enough room here I don't think there's enough room there. I wonder if we put it on the back. We might actually be able to sit it on the back. That should be perfect right there. Oh, yeah, look at that. That'll fit on there perfectly. Get that strapped down. 
All right, now let's see how this is gonna fit on the other trailer. This is gonna be a very tight, tight squeeze. I'm trying to think. So we could take the implements. Let's shut this truck off because it's kind of loud. So we could take the implements off the skid steers and sit them up here. And maybe that would give us enough room or we could drive this guy maybe up one to the top deck. We'll have to see how this will fit because I definitely don't want to make two trips. So let's try to see if we can't get this up onto the top deck here. Uh, yeah, I don't think it's going to go up there. Can we push that down? Alright, that'll work. I don't want to interfere with the trucks turning. But I think if we keep that like right there. Jump out here. Then we should be able to fit these on. Alright, so I called up two of my friends to help me move this stuff back to the garage that we just put up. So we got Jack up in the um, log trailer up there. And then Jim is moving our tree cutter whoa 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 where are you going what what are you doing come on man jeez what are you doing man he's lucky i got slowed down this is way too much money to be driving like that what in the heck was he thinking jeez i just spent six million on all of this and he wants to drive like a freaking idiot yeah i'm gonna have to fire him after we get back at Jeez, I hope he gets that back. That's the most expensive piece of equipment that we bought. That thing cost me 500000 I've been staying back. I don't know what he is doing, but we made it down here, though. So this is the final turn. Hopefully everything is still on the... What? Why now he's driving up over the curb. Let's see. I'm just glad we made it back here without crashing or anything. We had that one close call, but... We made it back. We need to get all this unloaded and put in the shed. So let's throw all these straps off and get these off of the trailer and thrown into the garage. I don't know where Jim went. He took off as soon as he got back, so I guess he already knows what it is. I'm going to have to give him a call later and tell him not to come back because he cannot be driving like that. I'm pretty sure he was drunk knowing him. I don't know why he would get drunk the night before. I told him that we were going to an auction and and people, I swear. Alright, let's get this unloaded off of here. We gotta be careful. I don't wanna just let it slam down or anything. There we go. Gotta grab these log forks and get them off of the trailer. I'm pretty sure we came in on this side. Let's go ahead and get this unstrapped here. Park this guy over here. Alright, let's get this thing taken off the trailer and get put in the shed. This thing is what I really, really care about. This is our most expensive piece of equipment we got. This thing was running us about a little, a little under 600k. So we really got to be careful with this thing. This thing is super expensive. I don't really have enough money to go grab another one of these, so I want to try to make sure this thing stays safe. And J Jim definitely will not be transporting this guy ever again. That is for sure. Alright, let's get our last truck put away. I think we'll go ahead and wrap up. I'm going to put this camera down and go get some food, get, get a nice shower and relax a little bit after everything that happened. I might hop on the internet and look for a logging lot today. Maybe not. I don't know. We need to get something going though. Get some money coming in. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed, make sure you go ahead and leave a like. And if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe. Next video, we should be getting into some forestry. So stay tuned for that. We'll be doing some logging. So 
Yeah, I don't know how we're going to transport this guy. We almost need a little trailer for the truck or something to move that guy around. Maybe we'll be able to pick something up, but for now, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up. So if you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe, like, and leave a comment for any ideas or anything you want to see in the future. This has been CNS Farms. Thanks for coming and watching. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe. Also, check out the video and playlist up on the screen. This has been CNS Farms. Thanks for watching.